Yo guys, welcome, welcome. Playing Malzar against the Ari. Whoa, let me fix my mic real quick. There we go. Playing against Nari, guys. Not the hottest matchup, uh, but is a good setup champion, in my opinion. Again, she can use RN, break her shield. What is happening? Break her shield and then pretty much get a uh, advantage with, you know, if you get a jungle gank. So, the early game, pretty standard as Mal's. Let me just take a zip of my drink here. Wow. And we should just look to farm. I'm still going for the same build I, I went before. He invaded their, his reds. Nautilus, brother, he's a smart man. He knew. He knew they were invading him. He played, he painted for enemy red. Noxion didn't want it. He didn't want it. Oh. I'd rather take a losing jungler than a losing bot lane. Perfect. Free win. Doesn't it always feel good when you have a bot lane that wins? Like, if I have a bot lane that wins, I swear, I, I think I win like 95% of my, my games. Because I don't lose mid. Please? Thank you. Please? I'm gonna... I usually don't lose mid. I can't farm against anyone. Um, but my bot lane losing makes my game worse, right? Because we are a support. People... Uh, again, you could have taken a free reset, but what am I resetting for, right? Rune set, you guys can see, still playing Fusion Market, Arcane. I'm just gonna swap now if you guys want to see the runes. <laughs> just um, go back a couple of seconds. You can see my runes in the bottom corner. What was I saying? Yeah. When I have a winning bot lane, because uh, again, for Mal's, the biggest win con is always our carries, and bot lane is always gonna be my carry. But when I have a bot lane that loses, then again, it makes my champion's kind of a tool. Or a skill set way worse. So we always want to have a winning bot, preferably, or a winning jungler. Because if you have a winning jungler, we can invade jungle, we can fight rivers, we can press R. Top lane doesn't really matter too much for us because we usually don't play against um, against that lane anyways. One thirty-seven, but that is with our futures market. We don't want to waste future market gold this early. Nah. Welcome back, guys. We kind of disconnected. Sorry. Again, I still have issues with our... With my uh, internet provider. Unfortunate. Hope uh, that is going to be bad. Hopefully, she doesn't get anything here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, my internet co provider is still shit. Hadn't, I had a disconnect for a very long time. And there we get it. So, if you see a time skip, it's pretty much, again because of the uh, disconnection here my bad kind of hard to record videos like this too nice either way she didn't really do anything she pushed and roamed we missed a few minions we're still up in cs though but hopefully it doesn't disconnect again i mean disconnecting is just painful because we missed so much with these slippages but luckily we didn't die at least my team is still winning Now, you guys might be wondering about my skill. I'm going one point in W or one point in E, one point in Q. I'm kind of bouncing them because I like both here. Against Ari, you could pretty much go both. But I like to go both, um, one point in H. Just because I like Q max. I'm more than E max these days like in the laning phase. But as also just because this matchup is kind of easy. I'd rather just kind of bounce them. And if I need my E in a fight, I'll have my E in a fight. I'm on my way here. Yeah. GG! Let's run back mid here. Should be fine. Ari is 6 though. Again, because we missed some minis with that disconnection. Kinda unfortunate if I'm gonna be honest. We had a pretty decent laning phase as well already. No! Yes! What? League of Legends, what do you mean? Like, how does my E insta execute there? If it's 1 HP and I and I E, 
If you're gonna be like your yeah, insta execute. An enemy has been slain. Maybe not. Should probably look into reset here. You can't really let her for free. We got Wooly Bear as well here. Push. Come on, buddy. Let's just reset. Because she's about to reset as well. It's fine. We take it back for back. TP, get the way pushed in fa uh, first here. She's going to teleport. She has to, or else she's going to miss the cannon wave here. Which probably won't be worth it. Move down so you can cure everything. Nice. Get some mana flow stack here. Get a plating. Oh, there's a pantheon? Come on, Volley! But again, I get I, I respect it because it is really free for him to gank this. Cause Ari set up with uh with um uh, with Wallaby is kinda free. She won't go all in you guys. And the Aria matchup is really, really easy to play. Delicious. No? Okay. That looked kind of free, but maybe he doesn't want to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Wait for her spells first before we spawn. If she doesn't, we try the basic attack here. Maybe she's saving for uh, for a full combo. Get that, and now we can clear her ward because the minions are pushing in. You never want to try to take a pink when there is minions or if she's pushing because then she can just pretty much rotate and fight you. We don't want to fight in these scenarios because if we get charm or if you miss or something with troll then you know it's just gonna be a little awkward Wah! sure buddy i spawn minions there for the mess but it doesn't perfect i do have my item here so i'm gonna look for a cheeky back Leon we second item guys or Ryli sorry into Shirelias. But if you guys saw my didn't see my last video, please do. Like when you get that Shirelias plus Ryli's combo, it's just so strong. This account is like nine wins, two losses. Emerald one. I think if I keep playing on this, I can get pretty much 30 plus in, in diamond games. Because it gets a lot of LP in Emerald. Uh, she doesn't roam. I, I think she should be roaming more. Ari is not a champion. You just kind of want to be stationary mid with because her Ari is just so strong. You can you can jump from here down to here like in two R's and then you have one R to gap close. But she's playing too passive or too much mid oriented, which is better for me to be honest because I'm a worse roamer. But even we have roamed once, you know? Or we tried. I'm playing like an NPC, guys. With my movement, if you guys haven't noticed. Good, good hit. It's too late. Oh, maybe not. What? I should already be channeling it. Because then I can use Flash R and he, she can't react. But she didn't react to it anyways. We did it guys, we clicked R. 
We did Mazar stuff. Let's reset. Oh. Sigoi. Does it win? <laughs> oh my. No way he survived. Well, it was close. Um, pretty much our core items, Malignants, Ionians, are completed. Now we have a lot of cooldown, we can spam spells, extra mana. All that good stuff. I wanted to catch this wave, but, I mean... Maybe we can't... Uh, we can, but... I don't know, I don't want to tell my bot lane. Like I said, people are so much on the edge. Even though the cannon or the turret took like 4 minions. If I took one of those, she probably like rage quit or something. I'm gonna be slow pushing here. I do have R, but kind of hard with Lulu nearby. Maybe I can burst Lulu now. I don't think so. Not with these items. Not bad, I got hit by everything there. Jesus. I tried to juke the um, her W or E, whatever. And I got in uh, into it kinda. Still fine though. Maybe I rotate here. I don't think my my little damage that would have killed Ari. And I didn't want her to get a reset so she could use R away. Do you see what I mean? Like we were gonna win the game, but Misfortune dies and she's just insta tilted. Maybe because he didn't R right away, maybe whatever, whatever, but like you know what I mean? Everyone is just so on the edge. I think I TP here to defend the, the platings. I don't want it to give her any gold. I know the platings expire. But we're not going to give her a single piece of gold. I think she has our up. She... Oh, maybe not. Interesting. I would imagine with Malignant, she should be having R there, but maybe it was a couple of seconds left. I don't- I can't kill her, guys. Like, this build is not one-shotable. Like, I have Malignants only with Ionians. It's Ari, she will R away. We can never we get a reset on, like, the e proc anyways. If I got my E off, I think I actually killed a little uh, Jinx there. It's okay. Kind of a weird rotation though. They gave away mid turrets for free. But yeah, I mean... I think maybe not power farming as uh, Nocturne is the best at this stage. Because like we're kind of winning the game. I think invading topside, taking Herald is better, no? Because, like, we should be close by to our team. And if we are pushing up, me, I'm here. My bot lane is taking tier 2. I'm pressuring tier 2. Renekton is pressuring tier 2. And he's literally on our uh, bot side, taking blue. I don't know. I would rather have him invading and taking, like, um, being on Herald. So if he, you know, if we need him, he can use R. Or if we don't need him, he can just take Herald, no? But, like... I don't know, maybe he's tilted. I have no clue. Bad death though for me. I mean... Ari jumping... Ah, uh, the champ. Close though. Hoppa! Nice. 
Never mind, she has armor. Again, like he's just farming. It's not a good look. I'm coming. Ah, uh, I can't do anything, you know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, again, Noxion is uh, maybe tilted. I don't know, but it's okay. I mean, I think we're too strong to kind of lose this game. Knock on wood. You never know what could happen, but hopefully not. This is not a good strat to farm opposite side of our team. Again, we can take blue, invade his top side, invade his bot side, whatever. But farming our own jungle at this stage when we're this far ahead kind of arming it down i'm not gonna lie as a team but we should pressure as five instead of like him splitting i have tp so i'm just gonna push this wave top look to maybe get some kind of um push into the bot turret and then rotate to mid again herald is free i don't know how this is not 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 being taken yet Now he is, which is great. I'm gonna save my R here. That guy is pretty useless. We should wait for Renekton to get some kind of a push here before. She's loaded. Maybe. Opa! Nice. Sigoi. Let's take these. <laughs> That is so broken. Okay. Low key trolling. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. I mean, uh, the, the sad part is like this account is almost as high elo as my Prophet Mazo, which is Diamond 2, right? But the games are way easier because I feel like enemy team is. Even though they're also duck. Even though they're also diamond. Like diamond, diamond too probably. Most of these guys. It's just easier because I also get diamond twos. Or, I don't know. It's just weird. The, 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 these games will feel way easier than my proper Mazar games though. And I'm playing like pretty much exactly the same way uh, i'm not doing anything different we're really gonna fi find out why i mean the simple reason is my bot lineage doesn't go 0 10 on this account even if they don't always hard win they don't hard lose on perfect mouser i feel like i always get uh, a lot of fails and a lot of like bot laners going 0 20 and then I can't do anything, right? But in this account, it's never 0-20. Oh. Spawn voidings, let them get closer. We have a lot of voidings here. Nah, we could use them. That's more fun.
why Andy instead of Max? Well, first of all, we have two super minions spawning. And I don't want them to free farm. But this guy is getting... So... Oh my god. Three resets on the, on the E there. <laughs> GG, guys. Wow. Kind of an easy game. I mean, it's a 20-minute game. Three items. Winning bot, winning top, winning jungle. This account is just boosted in MMR or something, or he's boosting on in win streak. Again, losers queue, winners queue is definitely a thing. This account is, it feels like it's in winners queue. Um, it's kind of weird though, because this account was plat last season, and I was kind of like beating everyone and almost diamond with 80 or something percent win rates. Um, feels good, guys. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one, eh? Peace.